Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Greens. So in the continuation to our series on Hadoop tutorial, today we'll see what are the writable data types in Hadoop or simply to speak what are the data types, different data types in the Hadoop world. Uh, we'll look uh, how they are facilitated through the writable and the writable comparable interface. So guys, let's start. And before I proceed, I will want to request to all of you, if you are liking our videos, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. So guys, let's start. So guys, let's start. Uh, here we'll see first, what is a data type? I mean, data types are supplemented in all, almost all of the languages, be Java, C. And the data type is a set of data with values having some predefined characteristics. Like there are several uh, different data types available in the Java world, like in, short, uh, byte, long, tar, etc. Similarly, Hadoop has its own equivalent data types called writable data types. So similarly, you have data types in any other language in the Hadoop world. Uh, the data types are called writable data types. These writable data types are passed as parameters, input and output key value pairs for the mapper and the reducer. So writable is an interface in the Hadoop world and it acts as a wrapper class to almost all the primitive data types which are provided in the Java world. As you know, Java uh, Hadoop is implemented in the Java. So uh, the wrapper class, uh, the wrapper class which is a writable interface in the Hadoop uh, provides a wrapper to all the primitive data types available in the Java world. For example, int of Java will become int writable in the Hadoop world. Similarly, string of Java will become text. We'll, uh, in, the, in the coming slide, we'll see the entire list of all the primitive data types of Java and their equivalents in the Hadoop world. So in a nutshell, uh, like you have data types in any other language, uh, like in Java, similarly, the data types in the Hadoop world are called writable data types because they all uh, inherit or implement the writable class, writable interface. So that's the, the important question now comes in as uh, Hadoop is already written in Java. So there are data types which are already present in Java. Uh, why do we need uh, additional writable in Hadoop? So Hadoop framework needs writable type of interface in order to perform the following task. First, the implementation of serialization. As in the distributed computing, data needs to be sent across the uh, network in the cluster. So we need a serialization, deserialization mechanism, which is provided by Hadoop Writable. Uh, similarly, the serialized data needs to be written on the uh, local disk as an intermediate key value pairs out of say map phase, or say combiner phase. Uh, for that, it needs to have a mechanism to write deserialized data onto the local disk. Um, writable is a strong interface in Hadoop, guys, uh, because uh, the way it serializes the data, it, it reduces the data size enormously. So uh, the data which needs to be sent over the wire, we need to serialize it. If that serialized data can be reduced in size that will save our network overheads so that the network bandwidth consumption would be low compared to if say the data size is big enough. Uh, this writable interface provides two methods, read and write fields. To read the data from the network, uh, the serialized data from the network and write the deserialized data onto the local, do local disk. As I am sure in the previous video we discussed in the map reduce detail that the output of the mapper phase doesn't go into the HDFS, it goes onto the local disk and that serialized, serialized, uh, deserialized data is written into the local disk through the writables. Uh, so, I mean, uh, so the important points to note here is that 
uh, why we do not use Java serialization and we instead we go, we instead Hadoop has introduced writables. Uh, the first reason, as we've already discussed, is the compact serialization provided by the writables. Uh, Java serialization is bulky, and the size of the serialized data uh, produced through writables is comparatively very small, and it saves us uh, from the network overheads as we have to send the serialized data across the network. Uh, it saves our network bandwidth and data overheads. The second important uh, aspect or characteristics provided by the writable data types is they provide the random read and write access, which are not possible uh, with the uh, normal data types or the Java data types because data needs to be partitioned, you know, break down in pieces and needs to be distributed onto the different nodes in the cluster it's imperative to have the random read and write access. If you try to read any file, you, you will have to write uh, read it in a serialized fashion if you use the uh, basic uh, Java data types. However, uh, with writables, we can do the random read and write access in the, in the data. So these are the two important reasons why we do not go with you know, Java basic data types in serialization and why the concept of writable is introduced in the Hadoop world. First, compact, a very small serialization, very effective serialization. Another is random read and write access. So guys, this is how writable and uh, write comparable interface looks in the Hadoop world. Uh, for the writable data types, two interfaces are provided by Hadoop. One is the writable, this is the parent interface. Second one is the write comparable. It is uh, same, it extends both writable and the comparable interface. Uh, this is given in the system uh, because uh, during the sort phase in the reducer, we need to compare the keys. That's why it is mandated in the Hadoop world that all the keys in the Hadoop, all the keys uh, in the key value pair which goes in your map and reduce method uh, needs uh, to implement the right comparable interface while all the values are mandated to implement the writable interface as values may not uh, uh, need to be compared against uh, because the sorting doesn't happen on the values only on the keys but even if you extend the right Comparable also for values, it's inherently by the hierarchy in extending the writable interface as well. But what Hadoop mandates is that all the keys which you're using in the key value pairs uh, should implement the writable comparable uh, interface and all the values should implement the writable interface. So guys, this is the list of uh, data types in Java along with their equivalent in the Hadoop uh, world. So integer would become int writable. It's a Hadoop variant of integer. Similarly, float would become float writable, long, long writable, short, short writable. Uh, string would become text, byte writable. Uh, byte would become byte writable. Similarly, null value will become null writable. Usually, Null writable is used as a data type for the output key of the reducer when the output key is not important in the final result. Uh, as uh, the signature of the reducer method will ask you to pass the, the key value pair. So in that case, we can pass the null writable if the output key is not important. So uh, this is the example of reducer class. I'm, I'm sorry, this is the example of the mapper class. Uh, this is the this is how will you write a mapper class and these are your uh, input and output key value pairs. The first two are the input key value pairs. The last two are the output key value pairs. So here the first two data types are input key and value to the map function. Uh, their type would be long writable means long in the Java world and text means string. Similarly, the output key value pairs is uh, the 
key here is text and the output is int writable right similarly if you see an example for the reducer class here uh, the first two part that is the input key value uh, to the reducer this should match to the output of the mapper method right uh, so here we had uh, text and int writable as the output because the output of the map phase goes as an input to the reducer so here the input key value is text and int writable and the output is null writable and text this is one example showing uh, how exactly the writable data types are used while you create the reducers and the mapper uh, along with that guys uh, these uh, interfaces writable and writable comparable could be extended uh, in your code to create custom uh, key value uh, data types uh, so that you can override the read and the write methods and can write your own custom key value data types in the Hadoop world. So this is extens extendable enough so that you can add your own flavor on your own customization. So guys, this is it in this video about the writable interface and the writable data types in the Hadoop world. Two important points to remember I'm reiterating that one is the, the uh, compact serialization provided by writable and the random read and access provided by writable data types is are the two main reasons why we don't use the Java data types and Java serialization. That's the main reason why writable is introduced in the Hadoop world. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Keep learning. Bye-bye.